CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. All right, well, um, uh, not having Shane for, for Centurion's a bit of a change of plans, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that, that throws a bit of a spanner in the works for us. Um, he's been an important player in our side of late, so, um, yeah, that's, that's going to cause a few changes, but we have to adapt, so um, hopefully whoever comes in will, will do a great job and, and, and help us succeed. That's a, sorry. You go. I would have had a couple of really good innings in the Ashes. Just how big of a blow do you think it is? Yeah, I, I think he he gives us good balance as well. You know, he, he obviously his, his batting is, is important to us, but then he can give us a few overs and he, and he catches them at first slip. So, um, you know, that, that, that means he's an integral part of our side. But um, these things happen and you have to you have to move on quickly. So uh, bad luck to, to Shane, but, you know, whoever comes in, like I said, hopefully they can do a good job. Betting out on that uh, track looked a bit tricky. You know, the first one today was probably uh, summed it up in a way. Um, is it worthwhile practice on a pitch like that for you, given that it's you know, a day four pitch you're going to facing a new ball that's doing a few things, or is that kind of detrimental almost? Oh no, I think um, any stage you, you can get out on the centre wicket and, and face the bowlers at this stage is is, is gold. I mean, it, that was tough. You know, I'd, hopefully it doesn't come any tougher than that because if it if it does, I'm in trouble. But um, yeah, it was uh, it was a good challenge, and and sometimes you you know you, you you get a bit worried that you know one's going to kick at you or something like that. But but that's part of the challenge as well. And if you get through it, then you know then then you can be happy at the end of the session. You're a bit blessed with the you know the quality of the quicks in your squad in terms of getting ready for South Africa. I mean, not just you know today and yesterday, but the first day minutes and Harris got one to reiterate you guys. Is it you know is it the best possible preparation for the, their attack? Um, yeah, look, uh, I, I know that their attack's going to come hard as well, so um, I'm expecting, you know, plenty of short balls and, and, and good pace and, and, and good swing as well, so um, it, it's what we've been facing, so um, it, it would have been nice to, to spend a little bit more time out in the middle yesterday, but um, that was, you know, that, that was the rules of, of, of how we were playing yesterday, so um, yeah, as, as I said, you just got to adapt and, and, and keep going forward. Everyone's talked about the, the pitches, but the swing yesterday and probably again today was as much a factor as anything, wasn't it? Just getting the ball moving around. Yeah, um, yeah. There's been some some late swing actually, and that, that's that's going to make it interesting. I think, um, you know, I think both batting sides are going to going to have their work cut out for um, for them. But you know, that that's part and parcel of Test cricket. So whoever, hopefully, uh, you know, I think whoever bats the best is is you know is going to be right in, in line to win this Test. One thing about uh, South Africa or, and you know, the venue you're going to play at, they've got a really terrific record at Centurion. It's been talked of a little bit like their Gabba, as it is for, for Australia. Have you guys talked at all about you know, going to their, that sort of fortress, as it were? Um, not as yet. We haven't really focused on, on that particular um, arena, but we've spoken about other things and, I, and you know, we've still got a couple of um, meetings to go. So um, I, I'm sure we will uh, talk about that. You know, I've, I've heard uh, these things as well. So um, it's going to be a big challenge for us, no doubt, but um, one that I think we're ready for. I mean, you've, one thing you did in, in Australia, obviously, was you did nail the first test in terms of a performance that set the tone for the rest of the series and when you've only got three tests that makes that even more important doesn't it? Yeah and I, I think we you know we have good momentum it's um there's a good feeling amongst the, amongst the the group um, and that's going to be important going to, into this test so um, you know the loss of Shane's going to hurt us but you know I still think there's a, enough quality in the, in the rest of the side to, to to really perform this first test. Do you think there's you say quality do you think there's a, a resilience there that you know can cope with things like the weather not going your way Shane being out you know being overseas all that yeah I think so I think that's um, what we've really spoken about this this uh, whole trip so far you know we've we've been flooded out of uh, out of one place and and the conditions have been a bit difficult in another but we keep talking about how we've got to make the most of uh, every opportunity and, and I think we are and we're, we're still enjoying it you know guys are still having a laugh and and having fun so um, you know, I think that's going to count. Alex is most likely to come into um, first drop in Watto's place. You, you had a bit of time out in the middle today with him. What did you, what did you make of him? Uh, yeah, he was good. I suppose particularly today. I mean. Yeah, um, well, he batted better than me, so that's, you know, but that probably wasn't that hard today. But, um, yeah, look, I think he's he's a class player. I've, I've you know, seen him improve now over, over a few years and... and 
um, particularly of late, I, you know, I've thought this guy can can definitely play and 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 really play the good the good ball as well. So um, you know, I think he's ready. It, it's it's not going to be easy, no doubt, facing this attack, but. Um, I think he's got the game game plan to, to succeed. Yeah, One I suppose the, he's you know he's ultimately you know you're ready when you're picked, but particularly in South Africa, what have you seen this, this past week to to you know fill you with confidence that he, that he is ready? Oh, I, look, I think he plays the quicks well. You know, he's he's always in good positions, um, and he can play all round the wicket. Um, you know, he doesn't he doesn't seem to have any um, any real weaknesses. So. Uh, you know that that's going to be import, important because I think you know this is a good enough attack to, to find you out. So um, you know I guess we'll we'll all find out uh, where he's at and 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 where the rest of us are at with with you know with this quality of uh, opposition. One of the things about him when he's going well it seems to be he he can hit a pretty good ball for four. You know he doesn't give the the, uh, the bowlers much margin for error. It, exactly. Yeah. I mean I I'd, I think we had a pretty good attack uh, against Tasmania this year against him and he. And he he looked, you know, a class player until he got run out. So, um, and he made it look easy. And that, that was, you know, on that wicket was was particularly impressive. So, you know, like I said, I think he's ready. This is your first time here. Has it sort of lived up to preconceptions, or have you settled in because it's pretty similar to Australia? Anything surprised you? Um, uh, it's been interesting, I must admit. I mean, the conditions have been uh, have been uh, tough. Uh, the rain hasn't helped. Um, but you know, I think that's you know that's what you expect, and and we know we're coming into a, a tough environment. You know, the opposition are, are quality number one for a reason. So, um, yeah, I've probably expected it to be this hard, and and you know, can't wait for this this huge challenge of the first test.